Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going over Q3 of the Leco Bi Weekly Contest 36 Fun Wallet Matrix Given Row and Columns and Sums. So, this one, to be honest, uh, there's something about uh, the way that my thought process is. Uh, and if you're new to the channel, I usually just go over my thought process more than the solutions itself because I find it more, um, you know, more interesting. I mean, because if you're looking for a solution, I'm sure like you could find a lot of different videos anyway. But anyway, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join in me on Discord, and ask me questions. Um, but for this one, uh, yeah, my thought process was a little bit meta in that I was thinking, okay, so this one is either a couple of things. One is either some like ridiculous exponential solution, or two, um, some kind of max flow solution, which not going to get into why that is. Uh, that is probably more of an advanced topic for Leetcode. Uh, so I didn't really consider it that seriously. And then the third one is greedy. I look at the constraints and I would say that um, looking at the constraints, if it was, if the constraints were higher, um, oh sorry, if the constraints were lower, I would think maybe it's you know, one of the exponential solutions, maybe there's dynamic programming. Maybe it's backtracking, some variation on those things. Uh, but because n is zero to five hundred, I thought okay, it should be. Um, then like we should be able to have a greedy solution, or maybe some sort of sorting uh, that's based on greedy. So, the, in that case, it'll be like n log n or something like that. But um, because then it becomes greedy after that, or maybe just greedy itself. Um, so the, for this one to. To be honest, and I do urge people to do this from time to time. Sometimes people are really fast, and people did get it in like three minutes or, or whatever it is. Uh, so people are very good about it. Um, so it's all about the visualization for me. And honestly, I have I, I wrote out a couple. You can't really see it, but that's fine. I'm, it's just on a piece of paper, me writing out the first couple of uh, example cases, and just kind of convince myself that it is good enough. Because in greedy, it is a sort of an intuition that. Um, Every step of your way forces you toward um, the, uh, a better answer, um, and sometimes your intuition is going to be wrong. And to be honest, I don't know. Uh, but but for me, it I, I just try to see if I could figure out like as I iterate, as I uh, create that visualization, whether I can think about. Um, for a greedy solution, you know, the hardest part is tr proving the solution, the greedy solution is right. And for me, it's about kind of like playing around with it, visualizing it and trying to f get the flow on it. And then as I, you know, when, as I do things step by step, I wonder, okay, is there a way for this to be wrong every step of the way? So that's how I did it with my visualization on paper. Um, definitely urge you all to do that. But basically it becomes greedy. Um, because uh, at least one matrix always exists. Otherwise, maybe it's a little bit uh, trickier. Because hmm. then you have to, pr it, it, that'll be harder to prove greedy is correct if they're, uh, I, I, I don't know, right? Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just not good at this greedy stuff either. Uh, so if you're watching this, but, um, but yeah, but basically I start off the matrix as all zeros. Why not? It's just a good default value. And then for each column sum, I I literally go back, go go down the list. Okay. Can I add it on uh this X? No. Go to the uh, well, I mean I don't say no, but I go, okay, what's the max that I could put uh what's the max number that I could put on this row, given that the current row sum? Okay. Uh if it's zero, that means it is a no. But then you just keep on going down this way. So this code end up being very terse, very concise. Uh and then I just increment X going down the list. Uh, for each row uh, by removing this and adding it. Uh, so yeah, so greedy solution. Um, so the tricky thing is that uh, for me, for this problem is that if a solution doesn't exist, can you show that the greedy solution doesn't find it, right? Um, I don't know how to do that. Uh, luckily, it's not part of the question. Uh, so yeah, uh, so what is the complexity of this? Well, we populate each element of the result array at most once, so it's gonna be linear in the size of the input. Uh, well, okay, maybe not actually, <laughs> sorry. Well, we got, it's going to be linear in the size of the output, I guess, sorry. Uh, because in both sum, I guess we have n times, or n, 
and plus m is the input uh but we get n times m as, as the output so i guess it's quadratic but it is linear in the size of the output and you cannot do better you can prove to yourself that's a slower case uh yeah that's all i have for this problem hit the like button hit the subscribe button and you could watch me solve this problem live during the contest next to create
Hey, everybody. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. This is Larry. Uh, this is me out. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. I hope you had a great contest. I hope you, you had a great poem. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions. And I will see y'all next contest. Bye-bye.